Is it freeware or is it actually an actual game? It's an actual game for I think the PlayStation 2 or something. Hmm. It may have been for the, for the original Xbox. You have to let me know if you ever find out what it's called. It's called I didn't hear that. What? I couldn't hear what you just said there. It's called Breakdown. Yeah. Remember what Breakdown is, right? Mmm, kinda. That's that, 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 that's that Xbox original game where, where you have to prepare your hand to, to pick something up and then you have to go pick it up. Oh yeah, that game. That game seemed like so much fun, you know. It's so efficient because it, it's realistic too because in real life, before I pick something up, I have to hold my hand in front of my face and then I have to pick it up. And of course, you can use the two analog sticks to control your kidneys. Yes. That one game where the inter in the intro, you actually had to press a button to blink. Oh yeah, that was uh, Alone in the Dark. Yeah, that's one of those ideas where it's like that sounds great on paper, or maybe it sounds at least so at least okay on paper. But then when you put it in the game, it's like, wow, what were they thinking? Give the player full control, or or, or, or make them put or make them put the controller down. Pick one. Uh, didn't even notice that guy for some reason. You're like, eep! You know, I'm suddenly reminded of, uh, of Red vs. Blue, where, where, where Tex was beating the crap out of everybody and punching Griff in the balls over and over again. Yeah. I, 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 Why would don't you just kill me? <laughs> what is your problem with my balls? <laughs> I'm... I love the I love the way when the sergeant's in a pile of of bad kids. He's like, what happened? I feel I feel defeated yet inexplicably rejuvenated. I really like the Pokemon fight. How I could see how much health they had. For some reason, that always makes me feel better in games when there's a a health bar for the boss. That's why I like Slippy. That's the reason I like Slippy so much in uh, Star Fox 64. Just for me, it felt so much more comforting when I could see, okay, that's how much health they have. I almost got him. Wait, Slippy is what did that for you? Yeah, if you lost Slippy, then uh, you couldn't see that boss's health. Yeah, I didn't beat Slippy. Because, because, because even if I could see the boss's health, it did change my strategy of. Ah! Yeah, well, I don't know why, but every game, if there's a health bar for the boss, then I feel so much more comfortable. That's why I was kind of afraid at the end of Fire Emblem uh, when the red when the, the fire dragon came out and oh my God. had an unknown health bar. I'm like, oh crap, this is gonna be hard. And how it's, it was like flashing and everything. So like, yip, 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 yip. And then Elwood is the first one to die, and I'm like, God damn it! Yeah, the first time I played that game, I, I didn't because I, I didn't play Fire Emblem yet up to that point. I not I not trained very well, so I ended up having to use Athos. I use I use Athos to do 40 damage to him. He brings Athos down to like two health. He's just 38, and Athos has 40 health, you know. Yeah. And then I then I, I use Elwood to rescue him and drop him. And um, oops. And then I heal him, and then repeat that every turn. It took like. Ten turns to kill him. I don't know how many exactly. It took me four turns. Who'd you use? Lynn, Hector, I... Well, okay, the first time I tried it, I, I, I used Elwood. I was like, Elwood, go, 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 go kick its ass. This, this is so, you know, like, like totally your moment, Elwood. It's your time to shine. And, the, and then he goes in there, he attacks once, and, he, and the dragon attacks twice and kills him. And I'm like, fuck you, Elwood. <laughs> I mean, he's got the, he's got, his sword is a dragon slayer, you think he would do, I mean, sure, increase the damage he does, but it still doesn't change the fact that he really sucks in that fight. Yeah, poor Elwood. And then on the Sacred Stones, when I fought the Demon King, I panicked when I, when I realized that he could move. And all of a sudden he moves and uses sleep on my, on like, my entire team. I ended up losing literally every magic user on my team. 
before I could beat him. That was my first time through. The second time through, I got it perfect. Didn't lose anybody. This is very hard. Like, much harder than any of the other bosses. Anyways, um, it, it took me six turns because I had Jafar with a killing edge. Ah. Uh. I also, I also, 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 also gave, uh, gave him, uh, my Iron Throne. So, negate, uh, criticals. Yeah. Just in case, you know, because the dragon had a, had a 50 to 43% chance of beating Jafar. Without the Iron Rune on, uh, the dragon had a 39% chance of hitting a critical, and I was like, oh no! Yeah, you remember that time when we fought in the Link Arena and I gave, I had um, Oswin no, at lo maxed no. out with an uh, Iron Rune? Yeah, you, 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 you had Cheapy McCheeperton with, with an Iron Rune. Yeah, which meant that you couldn't, there's nothing you could really do because, you know, no criticals against uh, Oswin. What, what did I do there? You, I think you tried to hug death. <laughs> Alright, please, can we, do we have to fight? I guess we do. You know what, Death, you can just take me, because I'm sure wherever you're going to take me is better than this. Please, don't jinx yourself. I, I, I'm going to hang with you tomorrow. What do you mean? After 11, i got to hang with you so, 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 we can, so we can fix our little castle no, that, crashes that's, and shit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying myself, literally. I'm not saying I want to okay. die. I'm saying, <laughs> Death, take this kid to wherever it is you take people, because it's probably, it's probably easier than this game. I think it'd be great if, 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 if he took you, if he took, if he took you to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. That'd be awesome. You know what this, you know what this place needs? I'll tell you. We need a scary tunnel. Right over there. Have you ever seen that? No, I haven't. Uh, how it should have ended? Is how Willy no. Wonka should have ended? Basically, it ends right after the tunnel scene, and everyone just gets up and leaves. Talking about how they can't believe, like, what does that have to do with candy? I can't. You're, you're just an idiot and that kind of thing. It's like, all right, whose idea was it to put the scary tunnel in? And it showed them all like, all like drunk off of, uh, chocolate, I think, something like that. And Willie's, he, he's just sitting there, he's like, hey, you know what this place needs? I'll tell you. We need a scary tunnel, right over there. Like, not, not about candy, just about like, chickens getting, chickens getting their heads cut off and. It was funny. You know what we need? We need a scary title. Yeah, I'd recommend that um, series, How It Should Have Ended. That reminds me of, um, that reminds me of, uh, of, of, of Robin Williams' skit on, uh, on Um, what? I, just, I heard I am going to Robin Williams' skit on something, and then I lost you. On the birth of the sport, golf. Birth of what? Oh. Uh. oh, okay. I never heard that one. I thought I thought I heard you say golf, and I'm like, are we talking about the oil spill now? Yes, the birth of the golf. Oh. Oh. Don't kill me, Death. That sounds kind of funny to say, actually. Oh crap. Kill death, kill death, kill death, kill death. Something, something I did, Dante's Inferno. Ah. Uh. 